हेलो माय नेम इज रेशमा ओहार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट एआईडीएस डिपार्टमेंट टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग एंड प्रोग्रामिंग तो सो यूनिट थ्री फंक्शंस एंड मॉड्यूल्स सो इन दैट वी आर सीइंग द कंटेंट्स पास बाय रेफरेंस वर्सेस पास बाय वैल्यू स्कोप एंड लाइफ टाइम ऑफ वेरिएबल्स एंड रिटर्न स्टेटमेंट्स so first one pass by reference versus pass by value so all parameters in the python programming language are provided by references so it indicates that if we alter the value of an arguments inside of a program the calling function will likewise reflect the change for example here we are explaining in the form of a code so example python code for a pass by reference versus value so first we are defining the function as in def keyword square in an item list so the function or the this functions will find the square of an items in the list so square so here we are using the for statement so for i in item list so square is an append so it will repay returns the value is in square so next we are calling the defined function so here we are calling our defined function by my list my result so in the in that format we are printing the square of the list r my result so output about this code is a square of the list in an format of us so scope and lifetime of variables so the scope of variables refers to the domain of a program where it is declared so functions arguments and variables are not accessible outside the defined function so as a result they only have a local domain so uh, it will be only working on local domain so the lifespan of a uh, variables in a ram is how long it stays there so functions lifespan is the same as that of its internal variables so they are taken away after we exit the function so consequently a functions does not keep the value of the variable from the previous execution so here is an simple example of variable scope within an function so the code is nothing but for example as in python code to demonstrate the scope and lifetime of variable so defining a function to print a number so first we are defining our function as a number then number we are passing the values then print the value of the number inside the function then again second number then print the value of a number outside the function so output about this code is the value of a number inside the function is 50 and the value of number in outside the function is 10 then uh, next point is nothing but the return statements so why we are using the return statement in the python function so we write a return statement in a function to leave a function and give the calculated value when a defined function is called so syntax for this is return then expression to be returned as an output format so the return statement which is supplied as an output when a particular job or a function is finished so might take the form of an argument or the statement or in a value format so a declared function will return a non object if no return statement is written so here is an example of a return statement in an python function so python code to demonstrate the use of a return statements are defining a function with a return statement first we are declaring or defining our function as a square then returning the values then we are calling the function and passing the arguments then next point is defining a function without return statement and again calling a function and passing then its arguments so output about this is uh, with the return statement is 2704 and without return statement is this value thank you